So for me, when I say data today is instruction tomorrow, I think about classroom practice and the data today is the student work. It's the student voice in the classroom. It's the questions students are asking and the answers students are giving. That's all data and it must inform um, the next steps in our instruction. So I see a key part of our uh, instruction, never being stand-up recitation, but always that, that teacher on the move, meeting with small groups of students, guiding the instruction for students who uh, aren't uh, really understanding the concept in our classroom, whether it's a discovery approach uh, or it's um, using the gradual release. Uh, so for me, that data collection is the student was the teacher's observation, students' work that really informs the teacher's next steps of who needs to fly and be left alone in their discovery, who's stuck and needs a light touch, and who is really um, struggling and will come uh, with the teacher for absolute instruction the next minute at the guided table, a small place in the room where the student could, where the teacher reteaches the uh, lesson in a different way, not in the same way. I always say, because it's not louder or longer in the same way, it's in a new way um, so that, um, the student gets it because they didn't, the students didn't get it the way it was taught. So there's always differentiation in the classroom, given the data that the teacher is gathering.